everyone, thanks for viewing my channel, I'm Skyly Simmer. In this video I will show you some more things you can do in Free Sims Online, like interacting with other Sims, how to be a roommate, how to find a job, and how to use buy mode. You can interact with other Sims by clicking on them. Interacting with other Sims will fill your social needs. That's this bar here. It's also how you make friends. You can open up your friendship web here at the bottom left of the screen, the relationship web. Here you can see all your current friends and all the sims you've interacted with in the game. Once you've reached 60 at the bottom bar, it, they will be friends. You can also do negative interactions with other sims. However, this will decrease your relationship score and decrease your social bar. Some interactions um, are automatic, meaning it doesn't matter whether the other sim accepts or declines that interaction. It will happen regardless. Other interactions um, need to be accepted or declined. Like the hustle here, he will have to accept or decline the hustle. You can queue up certain, certain interactions and you can X out of them if you decide not to do them anymore. You can learn new interactions based on how many friends you have, how many skill points you have, and other interactions are dependent on your relationship score with that specific sim. Two very important interactions to have are Hustle, which increases the fun of the sim you invite to Hustle. You can learn Hustle by making nine friends. The hustle interaction can be found under dance and hustle. With eight skill points in creativity, you can learn serenade. Serenade increases the energy of the sim you are serenading. And serenade is found under romance. It is also possible to interact with your own sim. You can click on your own sim and see a variety of interactions. To accept another sim's interaction, you can click the smiley face. To decline, you can click the sad face. Alternatively, you could just X out of the interaction completely and either accept or decline. Many sims have a question about making their own property. Um, it is actually fairly e easy to buy your property, but building and buying the furniture for a property can be very expensive. I personally recommend that new sims either join the lot of an established sim or find a group of other new players and collaborate together to build a lot. If you want to become a roommate on a lot, you'll need to ask the owner of the lot to move in. You'll be able to accept or decline the invitation. If later in the game you decide that you'd like to move out of a lot that you are living on, you can do that by opening up your profile, expanding your profile, going to the sim permission options, and moving out of your property. Once you've moved out of your property, you will be homeless, and only then will another sim be able to invite you to be a roommate. Once you make friends in the game that you want to remember and bookmark, you can click on their Sims picture, select bookmark this Sim. Then for future reference, you can check the, your bookmarks tab by clicking this button here and see all of your Sims that you've bookmarked. If the friend's name is in yellow, that means they are online. You can send them a message by clicking this one here. It will send a private message to that Sim. You're able to have three private messages open at one time. If you have three open, other sims will not be able to send you any messages. Also, it is possible to block other sims. If you do not like to interacting with a sim, you can do that also in the sim permission options and click ignore this sim. 
Also, if you do own a property or you are a roommate on a property, you can also add them to your ban list. Another common question for new Sims is, how do I find a job? You can find a job by clicking on the newspaper and looking for a job. The newspaper will show you one job available each Sim day. If you are looking for a specific job, it is best to use the computer. The computer will show you three different Sim jobs each Sim day. So you can look for a job. If you don't see the job that you are hoping for, you can decline the first offer and search again for a job. There are four total jobs. One is at the restaurant, one is at the robot factory, and there are two at the nightclub, dancer and DJ. If you want to quit your job, you can click on the phone and choose quit job. Again, you can view your job details by clicking on your sim, expanding, going to sim achievement and skills, and choosing job titles. You'll be able to see your current title. For more information, you can see your carpool level, the current position, and how close you are to the next promotion. Once your sim has earned some money and you are interested in buying clothes or furniture for your lot, you can choose a store by going to the map filters and choosing store category. Once you click on a lot, you can enter by clicking the thumbnail of the lot. Lingerie or pajamas can be found in these purple racks. Swimsuits can be found in these yellow racks here. Once you're at the rack, you can view all the items for purchase. At the bottom here, you can see their prices. And to buy the pajamas, all you have to do is select purchase. And you can choose to put it on right now or not. To enter buy mode, you hit F2 or push this button here. Once you're in buy mode, you'll be able to select any items on the lot. I highly recommend using stores to furnish your lot because you can buy furniture items for up to 50% off. You can buy an item by clicking on it in buy mode and choosing buy from owner. Once you've purchased the item, it will show up in your inventory. Older items will be at the front, newer, newer, more recently purchased items will be at the end of your inventory. Here's what I just purchased here. Once you have the items you need, you can return to your own lot, clicking the thumbnail again. Once on your own lot, you'll be able to go to buy mode, again hitting F2. To view the items that are in your inventory that you purchased at the store, you click inventory, this box here. Again, the more recently purchased items will be at the very end of your inventory. You can set the inventory item out like this. To put items into your inventory quickly, you can select the item on your property and press I to instantly put it to your inventory. You can also click the item and select add it to inventory with this button right here. You can also sell back the item by clicking this button or set the item for sale and choose the price. To cancel the sale is this button here and the item will be back to normal on your lot.